Hey everyone, it's Jessica Gordon. So let's talk about therapy. I started therapy 10 years ago, 10 or so years ago, probably 11 now. And honestly, you all, I wish I had started so much sooner. I definitely grew up in one of those communities where you go to church, you pray, and everything else you don't talk about, period. And definitely grew up in a household where, you know, they just thought you were crazy if you had to see a therapist. Not even if, it was like, totally not of our culture we never i never knew anyone that was actively in therapy no i cannot think of anyone growing up i've been in therapy for a decade i highly highly recommend seeing a licensed professional therapy is a space that you will get to know yourself better and that is so critical that is so important to your wellness that is so important to your success that is important to uh, your job, your relationships with friends, with uh, whoever you choose to date, everything. Um, so let me just say that you're not crazy for speaking with a therapist. So if you grew up in a home like I did, I want to solidify your thoughts and wanting to go to therapy. You are not crazy. Uh, another thing is that therapy helps you get to know yourself on a more intimate level. And I think that is what really has kept me going and continuing because I'm constantly learning something new. I get an opportunity to learn a new perspective. I get an opportunity to hear myself and then be able to share that information with a party that is objective and is not engaged or have any feelings about what I'm sharing. So therapy just truly helps you get to know yourself in a more intimate space, which in turn, so their fruit is fruit to this. There's fruit to you going to therapy because then your friendships and your relationships, they begin to thrive. Some of them will get dropped off because they may not be healthy. They may not be what is best for you. Um, but therapy gives you that opportunity to figure out what is best for you and truly knowing yourself because we, I say we, because I feel like we know each other, but I know I can speak for myself. I knew a whole lot of stuff about what I didn't want and wasn't really clear on what I did want because I had not seen many examples. So therapy helped me to get centered and get really clear on what it is that I desired. All right. So story time. So I was in therapy years ago and I was sharing with my therapist about a very toxic relationship that I was in. Uh, the relationship was not fruitful. The relationship was a lot of back and forth. It was a lot of negativity. Uh, this particular relationship that I'm referring to was um, not physically abusive. I can't even call it. I have been in a physically abusive relationship, you all, but I like to fight, so I don't want you to think nobody was beating me up. But in the relationship that I was talking to with the therapist, it was just negative. It was toxic. It was a lot of back and forth, break up today, together tomorrow, yell, fight, fuss, all of that. Like all, all that back and forth stuff, okay? For years, I, I want you to know that this was for years and I want you to be better than me, so that's why I'm sharing. Um, but I was in this very toxic relationship and I was sharing and crying with my therapist and she stopped me and she said, if your best friend or one of your friends or your sisters, I have really close friends that I call sisters, if someone close to you was sharing the same information with you, what would you say to them? And y'all, it stopped me in my tracks. That was the biggest one of the biggest lessons that I've learned in therapy, you all, it stopped me in my tracks because I would always tell my friends, you deserve the best. If someone's not giving you their best, they don't deserve you. I tell my friends they are queens. I tell my sisters that they deserve the world, gold, diamonds, pearls, vacations, respect, honor. I was able to articulate that for my friends and my family, but I was not able to articulate that for myself. Um, it was like a net, it is a natural thought for me to say, oh, you deserve better. If that's a student, I used to be a teacher. If a student was sharing that with me or a client was sharing something negative with me, I'm like, baby, you deserve better. Don't let anybody talk to you like that. Don't let anybody play you like that. You don't have a job, child, move on. And like, you deserve the best of everything. And I had to take that energy and use it on myself. And so I know that everyone doesn't have this issue, but if you can relate, 
and you're in a situation where you're not treating yourself the way that you deserve, and it doesn't have to be necessarily uh, a relationship, an intimate relationship. It could be just if your friend was to come to you about a job that is toxic for them and they're not, they're being underpaid and they've been complaining about it over and over again, what would you tell them? You would tell them they could find another position. You would tell them that that place of business needs to honor them. And if they don't, that you'll find that they will find something else. You probably bring that type of energy to your friends and to your family. I am telling you, if you turn that on to yourself, give yourself that love that you give to other people naturally, it will change your life. It will. I know we often in this world talk about prayer and manifesting, whatever your thing is. I believe in it. I pray and I manifest. Um, but truly tapping into when I have that negative self-talk or I'm allowing someone to treat me differently than I know that I want to be treated. When I think about how I would speak to a friend or a family member, it truly is so helpful. So today I am encouraging you to bring that exact same energy, that energy that you bring to your friend when, when she tells you that someone at a restaurant mistreated her, didn't get her order correctly. And you're like, oh my goodness, like why? Why did you deal with that? Why did you put up with that? You don't deserve that. You paid your money. Are you treating yourself with that same love? Are you showing yourself that same grace? So if someone is made a mistake, okay, let's say someone made a mistake and they came to you and shared that with you. Most likely you would encourage them and tell them, Dust yourself off. You are good. When you make a mistake, give yourself that same energy. You made a mistake. Okay, you deserve grace too. Love on yourself. Sometimes our self-talk is so negative or we, we rehearse things that we've done and we don't forgive ourselves. And I think that that was something that I struggled with. And so allowing myself to love on myself the way that I would naturally do for my friends and family. So when I have to say, all right, that happened. I deserve grace too. It has been truly, I mean, it's changed my life. It has really made a huge difference in how I treat myself and how you treat yourself matters because people notice how you treat yourself. You know, they may not, vis they may not verbally say out loud, oh, I can tell that you really care about yourself but it comes off in your conversations. It comes off in how you dress. It comes off in how you carry yourself. It comes off in what you allow and what you deal with. So it's so important. I'm begging you, I'm telling you, try it. Manage that self-talk and speak to yourself and show yourself the love that you do for others. Uh, that is the call to action today. Of course, I want you to subscribe like, share with someone that you know needs this encouragement. And I just want you to tell me what things have helped you. So if you're already in therapy, what has helped you? Like what's been that big piece of information that you're able to take with you on the long run and you get to take it into multiple different situations that have helped impact your life? Please feel free to share, comment, all of the things. Treat yourself well. You deserve it all. Love and light.